the rather striking looking lizard called the Gila monster. Now these things live in the southwestern United States and into the Mexican Peninsula and they are rather unusual because they are one of the very few forms of lizard that is actually toxic. So if this thing bites you, it has a negative impact on you. Now this is a great story in terms of drug discovery because what it illustrates to us is how often things just happen by chance and the right person in the right place can realise that there is potential in the information that they've found. So there were individuals studying these to find out why they were toxic. What was toxic about their saliva? If you're bitten by one of these, that's where the problem starts. And these zoologists found that it was something in the saliva, it was a little peptide in the saliva. They also noted that in organisms that have been bitten, if you do a post-mortem, you find that their pancreas is enlarged. Now the pancreas is an important organ in humans, Amongst other things, it produces insulin, which of course we associate with blood glucose monitoring. Now insulin and a deficiency in the regulation of insulin, in the job that insulin does, is something we would associate with diabetes. So the person who put these pieces of information together wondered whether what was in the bite of this lizard actually could be good, put to good use if we used it at the right dose and then, of course, a pure form. And he extracted a small peptide from the saliva of these creatures. He tested it, and this is now a drug that's licensed in many places across the world, including the UK and the US, for use in diabetics in whom perhaps what we'd call more standard therapies are ceasing to have good function. Now, you might wonder how we get the drug. Are we chasing around the deserts of the southwestern states with large nets trapping these creatures. No, of course not, because they are in fact um, rather endangered. However, once we can find the chemical, of course what we can then try and do is to reproduce that chemical in the lab. So this drug, exenatide, is now made synthetically within the labs and that is what is used to treat humans. So fear not, Gila monsters are still safe.